Hey everyone, it's Lorian. Welcome back. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is actually the 2nd of February and I want to share with you guys what I preached. It's a message that the Lord placed on my heart and I realize many people need to hear this because some people are probably stuck in a point in their life where they're feeling like they're in a dry land. So I will run through it real fast. I'm not going to give you a long preaching like I did in church. So um, the Lord told me to share with his people that he did not forget. So whatever promise he has given you, the Lord speaks to us through dreams, through sending people to tell us, okay, this is what um, I'm going to do for you. But then you wait for the longest time and you don't see anything. Some people give up and say, oh, probably, maybe it's not for me. Maybe it was meant for someone else. People question themselves so, so many times and I am guilty. But yesterday as my regular routine, when I was driving to and from where the Lord gave me the word, he told me, I did not forget every last one of your prayers. I did not forget. And I was like, I was so touched. I was so moved and God is so good. And you know, he will keep speaking to you, but, uh, moving forward to what I preached. So I preached over Mark chapter five, verse 21 through 41. And it talks about the ruler of the synagogue going to Jesus and asking him uh, with so much faith that if you come and you touch my daughter, she shall be healed. And then, uh, you know, when they were on their way, a crowd followed them and a woman touches Jesus and she has been bleeding for years. She has been bleeding and no doctor has been able to find the solution to her bleeding. So at that point, I say, wait a minute, Jesus was walking with this man to go and heal his daughter. But now he stops. He's listening to this woman, looking for who touched him and talking to this woman. And this man over here is where most people are. At this point, they're asking, you know, God, like you don't see me you don't remember what i told you we are on our way how come i don't feel you right now because your focus is somewhere else and sometimes people we get to a point in our life when we feel like where is god you feel empty you 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 know how your connection with god feels like but at this moment you feel very forgotten maybe does god still care about me am i still part of him that kind of feeling but and in those moments are the times that the devil i call it your wilderness moment and jesus was in the wilderness when the devil came and tempted him and he had to defeat the devil by his testimonies by saying it is written so at this moment this guy also is in his wilderness while waiting on jesus dealing with the person who touched him so when he was in that little wilderness, some of his co-workers or friends, people around you came and say, hey dude, forget about calling the teacher because your daughter is gone. So just don't even bother him, go. And many times we get at a point in our lives when we are in our wilderness and things happen. And the first people to come toward us are people around us who know all our businesses and probably know what we've been waiting on. And they'll be the first person to encourage you to giving up and forgetting. But the Lord is saying, the Lord has not forgotten about you. Even in your wilderness, some Sometimes the Lord is just waiting to see your faith. And I loved it that this man, after he heard that his daughter has passed, he did not leave Jesus. He still waited on Jesus. And that is what the Lord is asking us to do, to just have faith and wait because it will happen. God is not a man that he should lie. What he said he will do, he will do. And so this man, as he waited on the Lord, when the Lord was done dealing with that woman, the Lord turned. And because of this man's faith, the Lord went on with him and told him, do not be afraid. Your daughter will leave. And when they got there, one other point that I shared that was very crucial that I really loved so much is that when they got into that man's house, Jesus was like, what is all this commotion? Why are people crying? The child is not dead. So here's the thing. Many times we feel like our dreams are dead, whatever that we are waiting on is gone, or maybe we're waiting to get married and we feel old and probably done. 
But the Lord is saying it's not over until he, until he says it's over. So we have to wait on the Lord because he has the final say on all that has to do with us. Because we are his. He made us in his image. When he say it's over, it's over. When he say your life is over, it's over. One point that I wanted to share with you guys that I love so much and I preached over it was um, when Jesus got in that room, he took the mother, the father, and Peter, James, Peter, James, and John, Peter, James, John, and James' brother. He took those four with him, along with the parent, in the room. And he, he took everyone else out. Why is that very important? Sometimes when we feel like everything we want is delayed, is because there are some people in our lives, there are some things in our lives that God needs to take care of. There are people God needs to remove out of our lives in order for us to step into our promised land, in order to step into our blessing. There are people blocking us, just like I shared in the other videos about who to trust. There are people we are trusting, they're wrong and they're working against us. And we're wondering why so much is happening in our lives. Like I shared with you guys, I'm a living testimony. People I cherish so much were the ones working against me. And I did not know it because I love them so much. If you told me they were doing this, I will not believe you. So it took the Lord really letting me fall so low and seeing them for really who they are. You get it? So at the same time, even Jesus is really teaching us at this moment. The room was full of people, but God took all of them away because he wanted time with these people who are supposed to be part of this blessing. Even at the end, after Jesus did the miracle, he said, do not go and share this thing that has happened. Some people, even after something good has happened to you, your enemy are still waiting. Look, it's never too late even for your enemies to destroy your blessing. So sometimes even if God does something for you, it, you should not run so fast and broadcast because those people who are against you when you have nothing, they will still find a way to destroy even what you build. Okay? So same thing, the men waited in the wilderness. After waiting so much in the wilderness, once you get your blessing, you God removes every unnecessary person. Even those rulers, when God brought people in that room, he did not bring the rulers of the synagogue in there. They said there were many of them. He did not bring them in. Why? Because even at the beginning, they were the ones passing bad news, trying to make the man give up on what he believed. And we have so many of those people all around us. So they need to be out of the way before you receive what the Lord has for you. So sometimes when we are holding on to people, that is how everything we need in life is being prolonged because God is fighting for us with us. Let go. I was letting people know as God reminded me that he has not forgotten about me and surely he has not forgotten about you, about every single one of you. And he is working behind the scene god is not the devil the devil will give you here but he gives you five years to bring it all back and bring it all back is with your life but god when he's about to give you he wants to make sure that you enjoy your blessing so every devil in your way he removes he clears up your way if you are obedient enough to let go this is something i had to learn to be obedient enough to know that god's enemy is my enemy and let go if sin is god's enemy then sin i will do no more and let go of all that and the minute i started doing that i started seeing him speaking to me and every day is a step closer to where i needed to be and the lord is accelerating things in my life and even in your life and today i want to remind you that the lord has not forgotten and all you need to do is be obedient be obedient to what he's asking you to do if he says stop this stop it Stop it. If you really want to step into your promised land, to step into what you want, then you're going to have to stop doing everything that he's asking you to stop. Stop hanging out with the people he's asking you to stop. Stop talking to the people he's asking you to stop. So this is all I wanted to share with you guys. And if you guys feel like this word is a blessing, please share it. And one thing you should never forget to do is pray over your destiny, pray over your blessing. Because as the devil is roaming around, he's always seeking to kill, steal, and destroy. But I say today that he will not 
steal, kill, or destroy anything that belongs to you in the name of Jesus. And so we cover all that belongs to us with the blood of Jesus. So I hope that was a blessing to you and I hope you have a good one. I will see you guys in the next video. So like I said, share, share, share. Click the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.